Okay, Lewis Rollo, uh, thanks very much for coming to JNS at Oakmere. Um, this weekend you're at Alton Park, which is two miles away, and um, already this year you've proved that you've got some fantastic talent on the Superstock 1000 within competition. Um, How has your season rolled out for you? Because I know earlier on this season you had a great result at Silverstone, and then you've been steady away. Uh, we started the season off really strong at Silverstone. Um, a good kind of break and then at the start of the year and then we went to Donington and managed to get a win in the wet so that was really good start of the season and we've just kept pushing on working together with in competition and the full teams just been moving forward and we've had a couple unlucky meetings but the season's been going well we're sitting fifth in the championship so hopefully can keep pushing fight for another couple podiums if not wins for the last three rounds and um, see how we can finish the end of the year. Okay Lewis, and so Alton Park, is it is it a favourite circuit of yours or? I think everyone likes Alton, it's up, down, tight corners, big fast flowing corners, bikes wheelie and slide and it's a mega exciting track and especially for the spectators to watch it as well, it creates some great racing. Superb, superb. So oh, of all the tracks that you've been to, and I'm sure you've been to uh, lots of tracks abroad as well, which would you say would be your favourite track uh, in the world and where would you like to ride? Um, I don't really have a favourite track, I like them all, every track's got something different and I think as soon as you have a bogey track it's just a bit bad luck before you even get there so I kind of look at them all as good and pick good points and bad points but all in and not kill Donington they're probably my fee favourite in Britain. Super. Um, we, we posted some questions from some of our customers and uh, one of the questions was um, you're a young man when did you realise that you could actually become a motorcycle racer in a semi-professional or professional status? Well, I just I started mini motos when I was six year old with Macintosh mini bikes in Scotland, um, and just went up through the classes. I then done the Aprilia Super Teens win competition where I met Ian Newton, and we've built up through the classes, and then I've met Ian again and in competition. So to ride for them years ago in one two fives and four fifties to now be in stock a thousand with them, and doing good in the class, being one of the front runners is a mega opportunity and hopefully can keep moving forward. Super, well you know, uh, JNS Accessories has a long uh, relationship within competition and uh, we're made sponsor for, for the Super Team Series uh, sort of in the early 2000s so uh, yeah, it's great and we like, we like the uh, homegrown, younger element of the, the series. Um, based on this year and your experience, obviously it's your first year with JNS Accessories and um, we've provided you with some kit uh, with the BKS Apex suit, boots uh, and gloves. Um, uh, what experience have you had of the, the product that you've received from JNS? Well, it's the first time I've worn the BKS equipment and it's amazing. The leather is comfortable from the first day you put them on, um, from the boots, gloves, just everything. It's um, been really good working with yourself this year. Thank and, you. Um, hopefully we can continue in the uh, following years but now nah, mega suit mega boots just everything it's really nice and JNS as well um, work really well with all the riders throughout the paddock. Thanks very much Lewis um, listen we wish you all the very best for this weekend and for the following three rounds and uh, onward and upwards there. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay.